My name is Hugh Taylor and I'm Professor of Microbial Ecology here at the University of Brighton. Over the last 20 years or so, water research here at the University has grown enormously and we now have an interdisciplinary group we call the Aquatic Research Centre. My own research group focuses on waterborne disease and the problems of water and sanitation. We've been working with partners all around the world to put our research into action. In Europe, we've been working with French partners, looking at river catchments and predicting the effect of climate change on the quality of our drinking water. More recently, we worked with Médecins Sans Frontières in Haiti after the cholera epidemic, trying to develop a way of disinfecting the water from their cholera treatment centres. And in the last couple of years, we've been working on two very interesting projects, one in the UK with Thames Water and one in Malawi. What we've found over the years is that it's not just a question of science. It's about science in context, working with communities to find the right solutions to provide clean water for all. Globally, 1.8 million people die every year from diarrheal disease. And it's a particular problem in Malawi, which is one of the poorest countries in the world. It's been estimated that a thousand children under five die every month in Malawi as a result of gastroenteritis or diarrhea. The vast majority of those cases are because of very poor drinking water quality. Because of our expertise at the University of Brighton and the work we've done for many years, we were invited by UNICEF to work with the University of Malawi to look at the water quality of thousands of Malawian residents in the poorest parts of the countries, to look at the quality of the water they were drinking and the engineering, the type of pumps they were using, and to come up with a report that would set out recommendations to improve the situation. In the countryside of Malawi, the solution is to dig down into the ground and to pull up clean groundwater from the aquifer. The easiest way, or the way to get the cleanest water, is to dig a deep borehole. And that's the government policy in Malawi, to work their way to every village in Malawi and to provide a deep borehole that will provide clean, safe drinking water for everyone. The problem is that that takes time and it costs a lot of money, and it's not going to happen in the short term. There are an awful lot of NGOs like Pump Aid and Water Aid that are moving into the area and helping communities to produce lower cost water supplies. These are shallow wells that can be dug by the community with the help of the NGO. They cost less and they can provide clean water. However, the question is which system works, which system doesn't, and how can we best provide clean water at low cost? And that's where the University of Brighton's expertise came in. What we need to do is gather evidence, evidence to demonstrate what works and what doesn't work. And that's the strength of the University of Brighton and what we brought to this project. So working with UNICEF and the University of Malawi, we went out to the villages. We went to over 300 villages in the dry and the wet season to analyse the water quality that were in the water. And also we carried out surveys and we looked at uh, how the well had been constructed, how it was operated, uh, whether there was a good water committee, whether there was a good balance of men and women on the committee, whether the well was being cleaned, those wells that were well constructed and well operated, the quality of the water coming out was much better. So that might seem obvious, but what's important is that we have the evidence of what works and what doesn't work. And once we have that, we can make recommendations for the future, and that's what we did. We produced a report for UNICEF, which has been very influential, we think. Certainly the NGOs have been listening to us. We've been talking at great length with organisations like Water Aid and Pump Aid, and as a result of what we've done, they've changed the way they work in Africa. They're changing the way that they design the pumps and the way that they build them, They've changed the way that they work with communities and Pump Aid have installed about 1,500 new pumps. So they've taken into account the information we've given them that this is going to provide much cleaner water for thousands of children. It's going to have an impact on infant mortality. It's going to reduce the number of children that are killed every year from dirty water supplies. But it's also going to reduce what we call morbidity. It's going to reduce ill health. And it's ill health in childhood that affects a child's ability to develop affects the child's ability to go to school and to learn. And at every village that we visited, we were always surrounded by children. And this was a reminder to us about why we're doing this work, to improve the lives of children all around Africa. <laughs>